This is Bruce Bishop for ChronicleT.com. I'm here today with Tim Elkhorn from AM930WEOL. Well, Tim, let's talk about basketball today. It's been a little while since we've done a video. Long time no chat, Bruce. Absolutely. Uh, going back to football season. Yeah, well, we're jumping into uh, the end of basketball with a little look back from the photo department. And uh, we kind of want to talk to you a little bit since you are our in-house expert on all things basketball. Um, I don't know about that. Yeah, let's see, <laughs> huh? Well, here, here's the test. Let's talk about this season. Uh, we'll jump right into the outstanding teams. Wow. Well, on the boys' side, uh, there's no bigger story than Lorraine High. I mean, when you run the table, when you go a perfect 22-0 and and you're ranked number two in the state of Ohio, uh, that's not just greatness. Uh, that is historic. So uh, what a season the Titans have put together under John Rossitano, a tremendous team. They could be playing well into the month of March. Uh, this is a very talented ball club and certainly uh, they have lived up to every expectation so far. Elyria High having a great year as well. Brett Larrick's team, congratulations to them. Conference champion and uh, of course that's the first time since 1995 that Elyria High has won a conference championship, so that's a great accomplishment for them. Also on the boys' side, you've got the Keystone Wildcats. They had a tremendous season. They're expected to do some damage in the Division II tournament, so there are some teams that could really uh, do some pretty special things here come tournament time. As far as, you know, on those teams, there were a lot of individual efforts this year that were, were pretty strong. Anybody really stands out to you? Who, boy, when you're looking at uh, Lorraine High, uh, let's go back to them. Uh, you've got an outstanding Division One player in Devon Andrews. Of course, uh, he's already signed, sealed, and delivered. He's going to Kent State University. He's a very special talent. But uh, a couple other guys on that team really stand out. Uh, Rashad Berry, who of course is known for his football exploits. Uh, he's going to be playing football for Urban Meyer at Ohio State next fall. But he's done a great job out on the basketball floor. Uh, Nas Bohannon, he's only a sophomore. He's going to get better and better. He's done a great job. So those three are really the key guys for that Lorraine team. For Elyria, you're talking about a terrific talent in uh, Blake Furcron. Uh, he's come back to play for the Pioneers this year. He's done a great job. And certainly uh, he's got a nice surrounding cast. Marquise Dalton, that's a young man that Brett Larrick's been talking about all season long that really triggers Elyria as far as the defensive end of the floor is concerned. Keystone, uh, getting back to their ball club, uh, they lost their big post guy, uh, C.J. Conrad, like Rashad Berry, we mentioned earlier, a great football player, but he left Keystone early to go down to Kentucky and start his college football career and his collegiate career at Kentucky, but boy, they've moved right on without him. Uh, his younger brother, Austin Conrad, has done a great job. The Cool brothers have done uh, very nice work, so uh, there are some terrific players as far as those three teams are concerned. You know, then uh, coming up into next year, uh, any of these teams losing, you know, their uh, their primary players? Are we are we looking at much change? Yeah, you will. I mean, there's some terrific seniors uh, as far as uh, not only those three teams, but all across Lorain County is concerned. But. Obviously, what coaches try to do is build programs so that uh, there's always just that next guy stepping in and uh, kind of replenishing and, and reloading rather than rebuilding. So certainly, you're going to have kids graduate. Uh, that's just part of the process. But uh, there has been some younger talent on the floor this year that, as we see, uh, as we look ahead already to next year, but uh, they'll step right in and they'll do a great job. Uh, there are some terrific juniors and sophomores out on the floor this winter. You know, what is it about high school basketball that, that really does it for you. What is, what, I love it. What, what is that? I love it. I always say I'm a, I'm a basketball announcer that happens to do football and other sports, but uh, to me, high school basketball is the greatest game there is. Uh, just the energy level in a gymnasium, the intensity, uh, you can kind of see the kids' faces and you can really read into you know just how much emotion they're putting out there on the floor, the effort, the determination. I just love the game. I love the sounds of the game. I love the passion of the game. I love the closeness of it. You know, you're in a high school gym for the most part. The fans are right on top of the action. So uh, to me, there's nothing better than high school basketball. And for right now, the next couple of weeks in the month of March, that's as good as it gets. I mean, there is nothing better than tournament basketball. I absolutely love it. You know, one of the things that makes it fun, too, are the rivalries. Do you, oh. have, do you have a favorite rivalry? 
Wow, that's a great question. Uh, yeah, there's some real good rivalries here in Lorain County. Uh, you talk about Elyria Lorain. Uh, that's one that certainly stands out, but Elyria Catholic and Midview, uh, Midview and Avon, uh, some of the rivalries in the southern end of the county with Keystone and Wellington and those type of things. Yeah, there really are. There's some great rivalries, and obviously uh, that even amps it up a little bit more as far as the intensity level when you see two teams that really don't like each other. They respect each other, but they're going to go at it, uh, hammer and tong. Uh, that's always a fun game to call. All right, let's take a let's jump right back. I know we've mentioned Lorraine a couple times already, but you know it, it doesn't hurt to take one more one more shot at them. What what did it? What made them the team that they were this season? Well, first and foremost, you have to have talent, and they have a very talented basketball team. Again, you know, Devon Andrews going to Kent State, Rashad Berry, a Division One football player, but probably could have been a D1 basketball player, maybe D2. Uh, they've got some tremendous talent, but I am and always have been a huge John Rossitano fan, uh, the head coach of Lorraine High. Of course, uh, he coached on the boys' side for many years. Uh, in the final year of the uh, first <laughs> Lorraine High School, got them to a regional and then had success at Admiral King. Transitioned over to the girls' side with Amherst. Uh, had a terrific program built over with the uh, Lady Comets. And now he's come back to Lorraine High. He is just a great high school basketball coach. Uh, his energy and his intensity, uh, the kids match that out on the floor. And so he's kind of the guiding force behind all of this. Uh, you do it John's way or you don't do it. But the kids have bought into that. They respect him as a head coach. Uh, his system is geared perfectly for the talent that he has on the floor at Lorraine High. Uh, I love John. I think he's a great coach. He's got a great staff. Uh, Mitch Gillum Jr. with him on the bench. Uh, you're talking about a basketball mind. Mitch had been a head coach for several years. And, of course, his dad, Mitch Gillum Sr., uh, one of the legendary coaches not only in Lorain County but in the state of Ohio. So that coaching staff, coupled with some great talent, uh, has made for this very magical season in the city of Lorain. And I'm going to pin you down on this. We, we definitely don't pin me I'm down. I'm going to go after you Come on this on. one. Give me your favorite game of the season. Wow, you know, I was looking at the WEOL schedule. Uh, fortunately, we really have had some outstanding matchups. Uh, it's just the way that it worked out for us this year. We did both Elyria Catholic Midview games this year. Uh, one went down to the final minute and one went into overtime. I would say those stood out. And covering this Lorraine High basketball team, uh, even though uh, their games have been somewhat lopsided just by the way they've won, to watch them play is really a treat. I know their tickets are going very, very fast. Uh, it's going to be a hard ticket to get for them come tournament time. But if you have a chance to watch this team play, go out and do it. They are very, very special. But uh, Illyria High, uh, they have been fun to watch and really grow and develop as the season has moved along. We did the Illyria Medina game a couple of weeks ago. And boy, what a difference from Illyria late in the season from where they started. And that's a huge credit to Brett Larrick. It just shows how good of a coach he is. So uh, those would be the ones that would stand out. But, man, we have had some fun basketball this year on WEOL. But as I said, Bruce, uh, come tournament time, it gets even better. And we're going to have a lot of fun uh, with this postseason. Uh, the, the high school tournament basketball memories are just magical. You remember those games forever. You know, let, let's cover that real quick, too. Uh, we'll get the plug in since you're so kind to come over and do the video with us. Let's talk about the tournament schedule. What What are you broadcasting? When are the games happening? And Boy, you name a night, and we've got high school basketball either on the radio or on the website uh, between WEOL and the website, WEOL.com. We're out there for both the boys and the girls. Let's not forget the girls. Uh, there have been some tremendous girls' seasons this year. Elyria Catholic, at least as you and I sit and shoot this, uh, still alive as far as uh, Division Three is concerned. How about Avon? The uh, Lady Eagles under head coach Megan Larrick playing for a district championship in Division One. So we've got those games covered. We're going to have a ton of boys basketball games between this week and then when the boys get into district play next week. So uh, you name it, as far as a game is concerned, you'll find it on either WEOL or on our website. And uh, how about a quick plug for the mobile app. You can put that WEOL mobile app on your phone. It turns your phone into a radio. That's a really cool thing as well. So between the phone, between the computer, between the radio, you'll get high school basketball either on the uh, on the station itself or on the website WEOL.com. All right, Tim. Thanks for your time today. I, I appreciate it. High school basketball, greatest sport in the world.